Hey Leo, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. Happy New Year to all of you. Um, I hope that you brought in the new year safe and sound. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to hop into your first reading of the year. See what's happening with you and the person on your mind. Feel free to like, uh, leave a comment, um, subscribe to the channel if I do resonate with you as a reader. And if you do choose to subscribe, be sure to hit the notifications bell. All right, Leo. So let's hop into this. All right. All right, so let's see how you and your person are moving forward together currently. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, how are Leo and the person on their mind? How are these two moving? Okay. Detachment. I almost feel like this wanted to come up in reverse, but I'm going to take it up right. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like this wanted to come up in reverse. Well, if it, if it kind of a re starts reading that way, I'll, I will take it in reverse. Um, so, you know, possibly you, Leo, have had to kind of take a break from this connection. Um, maybe both you and your person had to kind of like detach from the connection. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Getting kind of like four of swords energy, all right? You and this person, yeah, you could just literally be on some sort of break from one another. Can you clarify how your person is showing up? The zebra. We also have the octopus and the spider. So fire primarily um could be another leo could be an aries or a sag all right um i feel like this person is trying to read you and get a get a good gauge on your energy um whoever this is i will say with them showing up as the zebra leo um, this person is very different, rare, um, like they are very like colorful in their personality and who they are. This could be uh, someone, you know, that this type of person is different. Than anyone else that you um, have known in your life. I'm getting that, okay? But they come up like with this visionary type of energy with the zebra when it comes to the connection with you. So I feel like they, they have um, this sort of, you know, vision still for you to. Um, I see a person like using their imagination, visualizing. Okay, visualizing a future with you, I feel. Very creative, whoever this is, you know, especially with the spider, zebra, this is somebody who's very creative. Um, yeah, it can be an artist of some sort. Um clarify how Leo okay so remember I said I feel like detachment would to come up in reverse so you show up as gazelle in reverse and the star in reverse okay huh So you and this person could be communicating or I 
don't know if it's that you are like reattaching to who this is because I'm getting like detachment like this coming more so from your end. Maybe some of you have, you know, said something or spoken up. You've taken some sort of action towards this person. Okay. And your person may have feel like they manifested you doing that with the zebra energy with their like third eye all lit up. They may feel like they've manifested or they've called you in to talk, to speak, okay? Or they're currently doing that, all right? This person could be currently currently doing that here, Leo. I don't feel like you're in a, but for some of you, you were in this detachment space, but I feel like it's changed. I feel like your mind has changed. Um, you cleared your mind and now, you know, after that clearing, I feel like you'd rather, here's what I'm saying. Some of you detached from this person or whoever this is, and you kind of like were putting yourself back out there again with the gazelle and the starfish, or you were in this place of like, hey, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about putting myself back out there. Um... Maybe, for example, it's it was about, you know, dating again or I don't know. It, it, there's something here like you were it gave you anxiety, but you were still moving in a new direction away from this connection. And now I get you kind of like going back. OK, very simply put, I feel like I see you going back to this connection. Um, like you're no longer afraid to even like have some sort of conversation. Uh, you know, before I see you kind of like worried, you know, looking over your shoulder, like wondering, like, is this person going to pop up? What's going on here? I don't get that with you anymore. As a matter of fact, excuse me, as a matter of fact, I feel like I see you like speaking up to who this is, talking, saying something. Okay. Um, clarifying how Leo and their person are moving. How are these two moving forward together? I like you. <laughs> Someone likes you. Romance is blooming fun, flirting, and want to date. And there's like all these hearts, okay? So I feel like that kind of, you know, maybe you've done something or said something here, Leo, to let this person know that you like them, you know? Things are, you could be very well flirting with who this is. Um, because I also saw chemistry areas. I also saw chemistry here. I never felt a passion this intense. And I saw habits. And what I was getting with this is there's a sense that you feel to a degree, Leo, that things, you know, maybe things won't really change all that much with who this is. However, you still miss, you've come to terms with like, you still want to offer this person something. You still want to let this person know at the very least that you do like them. It, it's not like you dislike this person or anything like that. Okay. Sending wanted to come out. Hold on. How is this person? How are they showing up for Leo right now in the connection with Leo? Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So that's what I was getting with the eight of pentacles. Like this person is not going anywhere. Okay. Not right now. 
like I just heard not ever but <laughs> yeah like I'm getting like they feel a sense of security with you they feel a sense of security you know um because more than likely you're expressing something to them um clarify You're not like running away from them anymore. I don't see that. Okay. Not saying that you were, but gazelle and the starfish. I feel like something that you've done has let who this know, this person know that you care about their thoughts. You care about um, what they think. Okay. There's something about that. Like they, they feel a sense of um, value. Okay. As I said, that love came out. Let me ask, clarify, um, how is Leo showing up for uh, their person here? Hold on. Um, how is Leo showing up for who this is right now? Okay, camera, all these cards go. Um, camera, talking, addiction. You also have the Grim Reaper. Reminiscing, keepsake, learn from the past. That's a lot, guys. Hold on. It's Leo showing up with their person here. How's Leo showing up right now for their person? Here we go. Love call. There it is. Okay. Um, someone expresses love, thinking of <laughs> a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. All right. So maybe it wasn't you that said something. I mean, you could have said something first. Okay. Either you've received a call or message, Leo, or you are wanting to receive a call or a message from who this is. Okay. It's so weird. These cards, like, I can't even go get those. It's all good. It's like a couple cards. I see the Nine of Pentacles down there. Jesus. Okay. Let's see. Clarify how Leo and this person, how are they moving forward together right now? The Tower. Okay. <laughs> You have the Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. So obviously there's some something has happened here. Maybe there's been some sort of tower moment that has um, kind of brought you and this person back and, you know, back together. There's obviously been, or, or right now, something is changing, okay? Um, something shocking is going on. Maybe this sent you back to who this is, Leo, okay? Um, Tower is surprising. Like, yeah, Tower is definitely like a very unexpected, didn't see this coming, okay? So either, you know, your person didn't see it coming from you that you, you know, expressed yourself or vice versa. Um, this person is expressing themselves to you, Leo, and you don't see it coming. You didn't see it coming, okay? Um, how is this person showing up here for Leo right now? How is this person showing up for Leo right now? Justice. All right. Hmm. I, I just got fair, okay? Like this person, the way that they're showing up, Leo, is 
um, in a way where whatever you're doing, they are, I'm getting compromise. All right. I do see this person operating from a place of integrity, um, honesty. I am getting a lot of balance. Okay. Um, this could be a Libra. Clarify Leo. How is Leo showing up for their person right now? How's Leo showing up for their person right now? The hangman. Okay, I keep seeing I keep seeing the seven of swords here for you too, Leo. You have the ten of pentacles, all right. Um huh. it's interesting what's going on. Hold on. What's going on is the tower right now with you two. So obviously change, okay? Now you are, there's, I feel like there's a shift in your perspective with the hangman. Um, hangman also has to do with making a sacrifice, okay? You could feel an energy of suspense right now, Leo. Um, kind of like you're at the mercy of what this person does, okay? I like you. Love call. I think a lot of you are like waiting to hear from who this is, all right? Or hear back. You're either waiting to hear from who this is or you're waiting to hear back, okay? I think that for you, how you're showing up, because you even have, you have this like Aquarius energy. So you're also showing up very different and a bit detached. Okay, in this, whatever this connection is, you definitely come up a bit detached. Um, a lot of you could be keeping a number of things hidden as well. Um, with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I just keep getting you acting, again, very different. Very different. Um... Like you're in a weird place. You're in, you're in some sort of like weird position in this connection right now. I feel like that's yeah, that's the detachment in reverse. So you you haven't oh okay okay your mind at least from what I'm getting with you Leo this is you know who I'm really resonating with your mind is not quite made up about this situation your thoughts are not final about who this is i get the sense that your person this person's thoughts seem pretty final about you all right with palm tree and the justice card um yeah like they've already weighed everything out um I think for them they're choosing to I don't know um just simply put like this I feel like this person they feel like the connection with you is permanent okay like they want this for the remainder of their lifetime. They've already let kind of weighed everything out and that is where they're at with you, okay? I've already come to some sort of decision. With you, 
so okay what's happened is like this tower moment between you two all right i feel has caused a shift all right i'll say this so the tower here There's almost like, because remember, it's, I, I don't know if you heard me say it. I also saw the Grim Reaper for you. So it's like the relationship as you know it with whoever this is, Leo. Um, something is over here and it can never go back to what it used to be. Okay. Now, I feel like the tower moment. Okay. Like I said, tower moment is like something shocking surprising and it, it's it's a moment that something fell apart i'll say that okay or something currently feels like it's broken or has fallen maybe it's trust right you even have the seven of swords it can be that you know you are in this place leo like even if you're talking with this person um your perspective is, I don't know that I should necessarily trust who this is, okay? I'm getting, yeah, like two different perspectives, okay? Your, your person's perspective is, I've made up my mind based off of what's happened, you know, with what's fallen apart. Um, I, I, I know where I stand. I have my mind made up in this connection of where I stand with Leo. Um, I like Leo. Okay, I'm just getting I like you. Not to say that, that love's not there, but... Um, okay, we'll just leave it at that, right? Because it's going to resonate different for all of you. Like, even if you're in a an already established relationship, right? Because your person comes up with justice. This could be somebody you're committed to. Um, for them, they're still holding the vision with you two, right? I still see Leo in my future. Okay? For you... Your mind isn't quite made up or you are still looking to receive more. That's what I'm getting with you. Okay, especially with love call. I'll try to, sorry about the glare. And even with the seven of swords. It seems like you kind of, you don't trust who this is. There's thoughts you're not sharing with who this is okay you're, you're not sharing it um you're keeping a lot oh, you're keeping a lot to yourself too with the seven of swords it's almost like you're playing it safe when i'm looking at the safe here But yeah, you're, you're playing it safe, but you don't feel safe with the hangman. How could you, right? Like, if I was in that position, I wouldn't feel safe. I don't know. I'm just getting like your mind is because, you know, with whatever happened here, whatever fell apart, it impacted your person differently than what it, how it impacts you in the connection. I hope I'm making sense. So how it impacts you is like. You're just kind of like the ver verdict is still out. I'm still not fully 
settled on, you know, anything right now. It's kind of the feeling of a loss of a bit of control. All right. So you and your person showing up a bit differently here. Um, it's kind of like, you know, with the Seven of Swords, sometimes it refers to somebody going back to the scene of a crime, which is interesting because you have justice, right? Um, courts, legal, uh, legal things like that. Um, But the fact that your person shows up with justice, it kind of leads me to question, Leo, if if your you know, justice usually shows up when someone is, you know, everything is as it should be, or someone is showing up um, with integrity or operating from a place of being um just and um doing the right thing but it's like you're questioning if this person is right or if they're doing the right thing um i kind of get like a bit of paranoia on your end okay you're 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 questioning maybe if you should trust this person or wondering if something's going to happen again okay so okay that's what i'm getting for right now please like leave a comment um subscribe to the channel Um, I mean, some of you may be sitting there like, well, I have no idea that this person is, you know, maybe you don't know, you know, some of you, this is what I just heard. You don't, you're not, you're unaware of some sort of tower moment, something that's happened. Okay. That potentially, this is weird, but I don't know. I'm hearing like there's a moment, let's say you don't talk to who this is. Some sort of tower moment has happened. Uh, your person may know about it right now, but you don't. But maybe you sense it. You sense it. You're like you're you kind of you're in suspense because you're kind of like I don't know. There's something else. But your your whoever this zebra is could be coming in. To tell you about, you know, what's going on with the justice um, energy. Interesting. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Feel free to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if that resonates. I'm hearing you have your suspicions, like Leo. You could have your suspicions about something, but... The verdict is still out on your end. It's almost like with your person having the justice card, they are they know about the verdict. They know what it is. All of it. Okay, they they've heard both sides. They're very aware of all the sides. You still lack a level of awareness. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Clarify, um, how are Leo and the person on their mind? How are these two moving forward together next? Destiny. Look, there's habits again, right? You have conversations. So obviously, I mean, if you haven't had some sort of conversation, it's coming. Like you and this person are going to have a conversation. Um, this person will reach out to have a conversation. It says I'm struggling to find the right path. So... Clarify how 
Leo and the person on their mind. How are these two moving forward together next? How are these two moving forward together next? The Fool. What? You got the Four of Wands and the Magician. I'm getting alchemy. Oh, wow. Yeah, Four of Wands. That's a stable uh, connection, marriage, union. Um, that's a found, you know, strong foundation. Um, look at these two different decks and look at the similarities. Like, you know, taking a leap of faith. It's like, I'm struggling to find the right path, but I know I just need to jump. Wow, there's mountains, both in the background. Okay. Very cool. And I feel like that's you, the fool. Maybe even like, you know, making some sort of, look at the flower on habits and the flower in her hand. Like, Leo, you could be like rushing in to just make some sort of offer. You take some sort of leap of faith and, um, like coming in to help this person find the right path. I'm hearing like they're, you know, you see them, they're like. What do I do? And it's like you show up. You're like, let me help you. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of staying in this hangman position. Let me do something different. Okay. So. Um, I'm definitely getting like a new beginning, new start type of energy. Um, with some of you, this could definitely be within Aquarius, Pisces. Aries, um, you've got Gemini, uh, Virgo, Scorpio. So, all right, I'm going to continue this on Vimeo. If this reading made sense and you feel like um, you can benefit from hearing what I see happening next, okay, the rest of the cards, um, what this person would like with you overall, Leo, what, um, what do they think is going to happen with you too? in this lifetime um what outcome do i get i'm going to give you a timeline of when i see real forward movement here in this connection and then we're going to pull your advice here how should you be operating in this connection if you feel like that will be helpful the link for vimeo is in the description top of the comments all right um with that being said leo uh some of you i'll probably see over on the extended if this is where we part ways i love you guys be safe please happy new year again may it be your best one yet leo it is a an eight year that is um you know it's on our card the strength card so may this be a year that um you fully connect to um, what was I going to say? Because I'm thinking about the strength card. On the strength card, the Empress is there. It's also the Lion. So I feel like this year, Leo, a lot of you will be able to find the balance between your higher self and your ego and learning how to navigate when and where and how to use both appropriately if that makes sense okay <laughs> all right guys um so yes i'll see some of you over on vimeo um the rest of you i will see you next time peace